Some of the stuff that I took on the mission with me. I got the pants that I wore right here. You can see the knee pad is built in. It matches the shirt that I donated to the 9-11 Museum. Um, on the back of that we had uh, we have our belt that we would connect our med kit to, wear that on the pants. The med kit's full of just stuff that you can use on yourself in case you get shot. And then it had a tourniquet on the front. Carried some extra American flags on the mission. And uh, a set of gloves that we wanted gloves that were thick enough that we could fast rope. It could take the heat of the rope, but also thin enough that when we landed we could get our fingers in the trigger because we knew we'd uh, be in a fight as soon as we, our feet hit the deck. We brought a couple sets of uh, handcuffs that we didn't need and a headlamp for once the shooting is done. If it's too dark, you can turn this on and find stuff if you're looking for intelligence. Big heavy sledgehammer that was worth it. This will get you through locked doors quickly or even through walls if you have a little bit of time. And then that's part of the DNA kit that we would use to identify in case he was unrecognizable. These are three of the four magazines that I carried with the bullets. I carried these in my vest and I had one more magazine that was in my gun and I ended up giving that one to the analyst who found him so she could have a souvenir for all her hard work. And then a couple other things. We've got a notebook and some pens, some more cuffs, and then a disposable urine bag for the flight in. It's like a mini diaper.